Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got quite an exciting video. So I asked on Instagram last week what kind of videos you would like to see from me and there was quite an overwhelming response um, saying graphic liner, which I'm not that surprised about. I kind of saw that one coming. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I do graphic liner quite a lot on there. And anytime I get creative with any makeup look, it's usually involving graphic liner. I've not really been doing graphic liner for that long. I started uploading videos, I think I said in my first YouTube video, I started uploading makeup videos on Instagram in yeah like the summer of 2020 and before then I'd never really done graphic liner not in the way that I do it now anyway I started following a lot of people that inspired me to to just try graphic liner and I found how much I absolutely love it I found it so therapeutic and yeah I really like doing it and it gets quite popular on my Instagram as well which is nice so instead of doing um just like a graphic liner look I thought I would do a bit of a how-to I don't profess to be the oracle of graphic liner but I have definitely got some tips and tricks up my sleeve if you are a beginner and you want to try a graphic liner if you have tried it before but you just can't seem to get it quite right or even if you have absolutely no intention of trying it but you're just intrigued so yeah this is going to be my kind of graphic liner 101 for beginners and if you are interested please keep watching okay so tip number one is products you can't do graphic liner without products i use a number of different products sometimes i'll use an eyeshadow sometimes i'll use pencil liners or liquid liners sometimes i'll use um pigment with like a pigment mixing medium to create um a liner um, but today I'm going to be using water activated liners. I think they're the easiest thing to start with when trying graphic liner because if you mess up it's so easy to remove which I will get into further down the video. Um, so the liners that I'm going to be using today are from Glisten Cosmetics. I've mentioned Glisten Cosmetics before, I think in my 2020 faves video. Um, I'm gonna be using pastel liners today because they just show up a bit better on my skin. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to see it a lot better. So the ones I've got here are blueberry, strawberry and grape. I'm really not great at showing you them, am I? Hold on, there they are. So these are a small size. What? size are they? I don't actually know what size they are but Glisten Cosmetics do um, smaller sizes and larger sizes and I think the small ones are just fine. They have quite a lot of product in them anyway and for me the Glisten Cosmetics liners are the best. They are, they have the best consistency, they've got a really good shade range and I don't go too far wrong with them and they also don't stain. Some water activated liners that I have tried do stain um, but for beginners these are perfect. So now we've got our products, next you want to choose your weapon. I have got my brushes here and um, these are my my favorite brushes to use first we have this brush here from P Louise uh, it's from the acid rain collection the majority of times when I'm doing graphic liner I use this brush I've used this brush a really long time um, and it doesn't really fail me I really like this angle because I find you can see what you're doing a little bit more it kind of just keeps the brush out of the way um, or the handle out of the way and you can just like see what you're doing a little bit more so that brush has kind of been my go-to until I purchased these brushes. So um, these are the Cut Creaser by Mellow Lops um, collab brushes. She's one of the amazing creators that I started following that really kickstarted my passion for graphic liner. She is amazing and if you don't follow her already, you have to, like her content is so awesome. And she's also got a YouTube channel where she's been doing these get ready videos and she talks about WandaVision, which I have been really loving. Um, so it's really fun to just kind of watch her videos and nerd out or just, enjoy her amazing makeup skills. As soon as I saw her using them, I was like, I am getting those brushes because I just know they were gonna be good. Um, and I really like using them. So I'll give you a little close up of the brushes. So you've got the C1 brush, the C2, the C3, and the C4. Um, my favorite brush is this one. So you can see with this brush, it's quite short, but very, very thin. And I've really, really loved using this one for pretty much all my graphic liner looks recently that I've done. When it comes to brushes, I've also tried nail art brushes. Um, I've got one here, actually. I find nail art brushes really, really thin, um, and they're not quite right for graphic liner, in my opinion. And I think that's because they're meant for nail art, so you're supposed to be using nail polish with them. Nail polish has a much thicker consistency than water activated liners. Um, so they're great for nail art, but they're not, that. I just don't think they work really well for graphic liner. So my third tip is, know your eye shape. So I'm gonna come in nice and close because we know I love to do that apparently. So you wanna look at your eye shape when it's naturally open to find what areas are gonna work well for you and where your product is going to sit the best. Um, and it goes without saying that any areas that there are wrinkles or any sort of creases, you are not gonna wanna put your eyeliner there. So anywhere under the eyes, you don't wanna put 
that there because that's just going to settle into these lines and as you move your eyes as you blink as you look around um, it's not going to look nice it's just going to kind of settle into there same with here I don't want to put anything here because this is where my eye naturally creases and again when I blink and even when I look up you can see how much kind of gets swallowed in to my crease so when my eyes naturally open you can see the best areas for me to be putting liner are on the areas where your skin is the flattest basically um, and leading on to that I would say the best tip I'd have for you is to do your graphic liner with your eyes open and my fourth tip is consistency is key I know that's cheesy I'm sorry but it truly is in many ways so your eyeliner will be dry um, and then what you need to do is add water to it sometimes I see people adding water straight into the uh, pot I wouldn't recommend that because you can't control the consistency of your liner that way so the best way in my opinion is to pop a little bit of water in the lid and then you wet your brush and then begin to wet the eyeliner so really easy you just want to mix your wet brush into the eyeliner and just keep adding more water to build up your desired consistency so so when thinking about your consistency of your eyeliner you don't want it to be too dry otherwise it's just not going to glide onto your skin but you can see it's so dry the brush is pretty much dried so that's a no. Similarly, you don't want it too wet, otherwise it's just gonna bleed all over your skin. So again, I'll show you. So yeah, that is just far too wet. It's really washed out, it's bleeding just all over the place and the color just looks awful. So what you want is something in between that, obviously. So you can see I'm, I'm just building it up here. This is looking more like it and this is why I said don't add water to the liner itself because you're just going to be there forever waiting for it to sort of become the right consistency and you'll just waste a lot of product so keep adding water onto the brush from the lid and applying it um, and just swirling it around in the um, pot till you get your desired consistency which is something more like this it's just dry enough to set quite quickly and not bleed all over your eyes and that is just the perfect consistency that is what you want so we've got our eyeliner we've got our brushes we've studied our eye shape and we have mixed our liner to the best consistency now it's time to get it on the face. So I'm gonna keep it quite simple today, I think, and save the sort of difficult stuff for another video, maybe. So I'm just gonna start with the end of a wing, basically, as if I was doing just normal eyeliner. So next, what I'm gonna do is just a line from the inner corner all the way out to match it up. I'm going to start from the tail um, and just all the way here, I'm going to stop halfway. Don't feel that you have to go all the way in one swipe. So then I'm going to join it up. I'm going to start from here and go down and take my time doing so. So I'm not overly happy with how that looks and I've messed it up a little bit here so now I'm going to show you a really quick easy way to clean up so always always have some trusty cotton buds hanging by um, you can also use a brush for this but I'm just going to use a cotton bud these are bamboo ones so these are better for the environment and I'm just going to dip that in a tiny tiny bit of water and I'm just going to erase that line and use the dry side to just get rid of any residue and it's gone. So the beauty of these liners being water activated is that they are easily removed by water as well. So water will help you erase your mistakes, but it will also help you clean up. So I'm gonna just clean up that little bit there with some water, so nice and close so you can see. And then use the dry side. how much better that is okay so I'm happy with where that is now I did sort of change it up a bit and clean it up uh, in a few areas but I'm happy with how that's looking so now you've got your basic shape what you're going to want to do is just tidy up and you can see there's a few areas where I've not quite joined it up um, and a few sort of areas where it looks a bit sketchy so I'm just gonna fill those in and just make the shape look a lot stronger
So I'm happy with how that's looking. And now I'm gonna use a different color. So what I'm gonna do is trace around the outside of the wing um, with the purple and the pink. So I'm gonna go in with the purple first. And I'm going to use this brush here so you can see it's a little bit longer and a little bit thinner. So make sure your brush is fully coated in the product. Um, another tip I have is if you've not got very steady hands, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depends how much coffee I've had that day. I always anchor my hand to my face using my little finger. So I rest my little finger onto my face and then I'll draw the line. Like that. And it just gives you a little bit more control. Well, not a little bit, a lot more control actually. <laughs> and I've just extended it a little bit beyond the blue. So we've got a little bit of wiggle room when we do the top. So I've got a few little gaps there, but what I'll do is just fill that in. So there we go, that's the purple all done. And now I'm going to do the pink. Okay, I'm back and I've done both eyes. I think I wanna add some cute little stars here. So I'm just gonna do that with some white graphic liner. So I'm just using Milk by Glisten Cosmetics, which is just a plain white eyeliner and I'm using the C1 brush, um, which is definitely my favorite one. I'm just gonna do some cute little stars. Oh yeah, I like them, they look cute. I'll just leave it there. I could do one in here. No, that might ruin it, I'll leave it as it is. All right, so I'm back. I've finished off the look, um, finished the little stars. I've added some lashes and I've also added some sparkle in the inner corner because why not? I'll get in a bit closer so you can see. I like how this look turned out. It's really cute, really kitsch, um, and hopefully it gave you some good tips um, if you are starting out with graphic liner. The biggest tip though is just to practice. It's like anything, you just keep practicing and you will improve. I am not amazing at graphic liner and there's still sometimes I sit down and do a look and I just hate how it comes out or it just doesn't look the way I want it to. But I mean, we'll get there in time. I mean, it's not exactly an everyday look. I'm not about to go to Sainsbury's looking like this, um, but I love, I love graphic liner. I think it's so much fun. I like how you can just experiment with graphic liner. You can do really cute little looks like this, or you can do more editorial looks that are a bit more simple um, and really refined. Let me know if you like this video and comment below what other sorts of how-to videos you'd like to see, or if you'd like me to expand a bit more on graphic liner and do some more kind of trickier looks. If you want to see more from me, you can follow me on Instagram. I post pretty much every day on there if I'm organised enough, which I mean lately I haven't been, but I try to post every single day on there. If you like my videos here on YouTube, please do subscribe. Um, I've been doing alright with YouTube actually. I've been posting once a week um, since, uh, since I started, so I mean that's good. I'm consistent at least. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Well, that's dried. That's nice. Oh god, I've got that everywhere. Ah! So you can see... You, you can see... What can you see? What am I trying to say? I like this little angle. Jeez, I'm really close. <laughs> Calm down, let's go back a bit, just relax. Well, I fucked that up, didn't I?